Hello everyone and welcome to lecture number three. In last lecture or in the previous lecture, we have seen characteristics impedance of a transmission line, and we have seen the reflection coefficient. As because no transmission line is having a perfect match with the another device or another transmission line, so when a transmission line is being connected to any of the device, then what is going to happen is signal is going to be reflected back. Signal is going to be reflected back like this. Signal is going to be reflected back like this. This is the incident and this is the reflected back signal. This is the reflected signal. This is the reflected signal. Right? No signal is no signal is 100% transmitted. Instead you have have any kind of special arrangement. Right? So due to this you have reflection coefficient that we have already seen in the last lecture. Now in today's lecture what we are going to see is we are going to study standing waves. We are going to study standing waves. We are going to study standing waves. Now how do standing waves are generated? They also are generated due to the same reason because the transmission line will not have the complete match that is the impedance match impedance match that is the impedance match let me write it again impedance match of this and this device this transmission line and device so that due to the mismatch in impedance due to mismatch due to mismatch reflection will be generated reflection of signal will take place Reflection of signal will take place, right? And due to that reflection, this kind of standing wave pattern will be generated. Now, the pattern of this waveform may depend on this uh, incident or reflected angle. This angle is deciding the type of pattern. Pattern may be of this kind, of maybe of this kind, or maybe of this kind. Maybe of this kind. It's reflection reflected wave depends upon the angle on which it is incidenting and it is getting reflected back. Right? It is getting reflected back. It may be, it may be like this. It may be like this. Right? Depends upon the angle. Depends upon the angle. This is, let us say, the incident wall. This is the incident wall, right? Depend, depending upon the angle, you will have a standing wave pattern, right? Now, let us uh, derive some of the equations to get standing wave pattern. For that, we will consider a lossless line. For that, we are going to consider a lossless line. For that, For that, we are considering a lossless line. This is transmission line having load impedance ZL, input impedance that is Z in. Now, let us assume a point P, a point P in between that. This is having length of L. L is the length. L is the length of the transmission line. This part is X and this is Y. This is Y. This is X. This is Y. And 
this is y right now the total voltage now we'll stack the derivation the total voltage the total voltage on a lossless line lossless line at some point at some point at some point P at some point P from the sending wave from sorry the sending end is given by is given by v is equals to vs e raised to minus gamma of x the gamma is nothing but the propagation constant plus v of r e raised to gamma of x this is minus gamma of x this is gamma of x now we know what is the value of gamma substituting the value of gamma we will get we will get v is equal to v of s e raised to minus of j beta plus alpha x plus v of r e raised to j beta plus alpha x that is now for lossless line For lossless line, alpha will be equal to zero. That is attenuation constant. Attenuation constant. Attenuation constant will be zero for lossless line, right? So substituting that, we will get v is equal to v s dot e raised to minus j of beta x plus V of R e raised to J of beta x. Right? Now, over here, we want to include the time dependent term. We want to include the time dependent term. For including time dependent term, if you want to include, then now for the time dependent wave time dependent wave we can write v is equals to v s dot e raised to minus j of beta x plus v of r e raised to j of beta x into e raised to j omega t where t is nothing but time dependent wave now we are considering the time function right e raised to j omega t is nothing but time dependent where the wave is been considered with respect to time okay now moving ahead we have the relations that we have some relation. We have we have ratio V of R by V of S is equals to E raised to minus two gamma of L. 
that is that is sorry that is rho is equals to vr by vs dot e raised to 2 of gamma n e raised to 2 of gamma n we have this equation and we have already obtained those things now recalling those previous recalling those previous lossless line diagram from that previous lossless line diagram we may write we may write that we have L is equals to x sorry L minus x is equals to y L minus x is equals to y now considering all those equations and all those relations considering all those relations in the equation what we are trying to do is we are substituting this both in the equation of v and at last we will get capital V is equal to V of S e raised to j omega t dot e raised to minus j of beta L inside the bracket e raised to j of beta y plus rho e raised to minus j beta y minus j beta y e raised to minus j beta y right the above equation the above equation represents the represents a voltage standing wave that is a a stationary wave Stationary wave consisting of the incident forward wave, incident forward wave. Let me write the upward side. Incident forward wave and the reflected backward wave reflected backward wave the shape as I have already discussed that the shape of the pattern will depend upon the reflection. Say, of the standing wave. Shape of the standing wave depends on the value of Reflection coefficient. Reflection coefficient. No. Right? The value is depending upon the reflection coefficient. No. So, this is all about the standing wave pattern. This is all about the standing wave. Now, going ahead. To this theory, we need to have or we need to derive a relation between 
the voltage standing wave ratio the relation between voltage standing wave ratio and reflection coefficient voltage standing wave ratio and reflection coefficient so let us have another theory the next one is voltage standing wave ratio right that is in general represented as vswr that is vswr and it is defined as vswr is equals to v maximum divided by v minimum now what is v maximum that is the maximum value of voltage generated inside the transmission line v minimum is the minimum value of generated inside the transmission line the maximum occurs when 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 do the maximum occurs when both are in phase the maximum the maximum occurs when the phasors phasors of this phasors of reflected and incident wave are in phase are in phase that is v max is equals to vs plus vr is equals to vs into 1 plus vr by vs is equals to vs into 1 plus rho this is nothing but v maximum this is nothing but v maximum when both are in phase when both the phases phases of what the reflected and incident wave remember this phases of what phases of reflected and incident waves are in phase are in phase then v maximum will occur that is given by vs 1 plus rho that is given by vs 1 plus rho and the minimum occurs and the minimum occurs and minimum value occurs minimum value occurs when the phases are empty phase when the phases are empty phase right so v minimum is equals to Vs minus of Vr. Now why we have taken minus Vr? Because, because this minus sign is coming from, this minus sign is coming due to the antiphase. This is antiphase. That is due to, we are coming taking minus sign. Right? So it will be Vs into One minus v r by v s is equal to v of s into one minus of root. Now <clears throat> substituting this value, this is one, this is two. Let us say this is two. Substituting this value in that equation of v s w r, we are going to get we are going to get yes. VSWR is equal to V maximum divided by V minimum and that is given by VS into 1 plus rho divided by VS into 1 minus rho 
is equal to 1 plus rho divided by 1 minus rho. So BSWF is given by is equal to 1 plus rho divided by 1 minus rho. So this is the relation between voltage standing wave ratio and the reflection coefficient. Voltage standing wave ratio and the reflection coefficient. Okay? So this is all about voltage standing wave ratio. Further, let us consider or let us take a small example, very simple and small example to calculate VSWR and V maximum and V minimum. Right? Now, in the question, it has been given to us that we have a 50 ohm lossless line connected to a signal of 300 kilohertz to a load of 100 ohm. Right? Load of 100 ohm. That is a 50 ohm lossless line. That is Z0 is equal to 50 ohms. Right? Z0 is equal to 50 ohms. This is 50. 50 ohms. ZL is equal to 100 ohms. This is 100 ohms. ZL. Frequency is equal to 300 kilohertz. And power, load power, P of L is equal to 50 milliwatt. It's 50 milliwatt. Right? Now let us take first one. Let us take the first one. That is VSWR is equal to 1 plus rho by 1 minus rho. This is the equation which we have derived. To solve this, we need to find out the value of rho, that is reflection coefficient. That is given by rho is equal to ZL minus Z0 divided by ZL plus Z0. That is been given by 100 minus 50 divided by 100 plus 50 is equal to it has been given by 1 by 3 100 minus 50 will be 50 and 150 so that is 1 by 3 now substituting this value in this equation 1 plus 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 is equal to this will give you the answer 2 is equal to VSW Ah, so this is the answer of VSWR. Now, it has been also asked to find out V maximum and V minimum. Right? So let us find out V maximum and V minimum. Right? Now, we know PL, sorry, PL is given by V square by R. So, V maximum square divided by R is equal to, over here, V maximum square divided by ZL. We have ZL as a load. R is nothing but load. It is given by 50 milliwatt. It is given by 50 milliwatt. Now, making the subject of equation to this V max, we will get V maximum is equal to root of this 50 into ZL into 10 minus 2 minus 3. 50 into 10 raised to minus 3 into the value of ZL is 100. This is 100. So V max is equal to 2.24 volt. Now, the voltage standing wave ratio GSWR 
Vs W R is equals to V max divided by V minimum. And that is we can find V minimum is equals to V max divided by Vs W R is equals to 2.24 divided by 2 is equals to 1.12 volt. So V minimum is equals to 1.12 volt. V minimum is equals to 1.12 volt. Now we need to find out we need to find out this V max and V minimum. So this is what all about the V maximum and V minimum what we have find out. Okay. Thank you.